Hello guys, I'm at the McLaren of Newport Beach and then I'm here with the um, Artura. The new car is hybrid, so let's hear uh, from Jordan Hawk what this car's got. Hi everyone, welcome here to Lamborghini McLaren Bugatti Koenigsegg in Newport Beach. We're here with the all new 2023 McLaren Artura. Uh, we'll take a first spin and I'll show you some of the specs on this all new car. Okay. So let's hear how the car sounds like. So we'll do the uh, just the battery part. It's gonna start the car but just on battery. All you hear is this, like electricity sound. Psh, you know. So at now, this point, yes. The car will always start uh, in electric mode. There's no way to start the car right off the bat uh, with the engine starting. Um, but what you can do is, as soon as it starts up with the battery, you click it over to uh, another driving mode, and then the car will fire up. Okay, let's do that. starting with the Artura, McLaren changed uh, the controls, which on the previous models usually to change your driving modes would be uh, near the center uh, mm -hmm. of the car. Mm -hmm. uh, now they actually integrated the steering wheel and the instrument cluster into one, uh, and now you control your powertrain modes uh, up here on the right side and your uh, handling modes on the left side, so you don't actually have to take your hands off the steering wheel to change the mode. You can just uh, flick them with one finger. Okay. So the car and driver tested this car at um, uh, 2.6, 060. Sound about right? It's, the car is extremely <laughs> fast with comfort, which those two usually don't go together, but uh, McLaren has gone above and beyond over the years to make that happen.
surprised about, not a huge deal, but as far as the infotainment goes, for the first time, uh, McLaren implemented Apple CarPlay, okay. so it does have that uh, connectivity available. Okay. From new, also, the car will come with three years of uh, maintenance included years. Yep, okay. within the price of the car, okay. which a lot of manufacturers are uh, starting to go that way. Oh. gives off being a v6 uh, from what I've heard from others as well as you wouldn't know it's a v6 as far as the sound of the car goes it's still very aggressive and that's yeah it sounds like a, a regular v8 exactly you know, I had the mp4 so it sounds yeah. very similar I believe the 296 Ferrari there uh, they have the v6 as well Correct. v6 hybrid yep The technology is uh, advancing so fast. Now you don't need a V8, you know, to uh, make it fast. It is incredible. Yeah. So now let's just drive in uh, full electric mode. Okay. Give a little bit of a different experience. Alrighty. Is it 80 miles? You can go. Yeah, up to 80 miles an hour. Um, the torquiness is not as, I'd say, quick as a full electric car, uh -huh. uh, just because this is a hybrid, but it definitely does help increase the overall torque uh, mm -hmm. combined with the engine. Mm -hmm. It's funny how you can actually uh, put just on electric mode, because not too many cars allow that. Yeah, right, exactly. Uh, usually it's automatic, you cannot control. Right. So it's going to be a pretty slow car then, uh, just on electric mode. Yeah, I mean it has some good giddy up right off the line, uh, but once you get to about 30, 40 miles an hour, it sort of tapers off. Mm -hmm. driving modes, if your powertrain is set to track, uh, the engine will always keep running, so even at a stoplight, the engine continues to run, uh, whereas in the other modes, uh, it will flick back over to electric, and then once you start moving, uh, the engine will turn back on. As far as recharging the battery while driving, track mode as well uh, will recharge the battery the quickest uh, compared to all the other modes. Uh, the higher the RPMs, 
the more charge that is going towards the battery uh, versus low RPMs, you're getting minimal charge. Okay. And then for the plug-in, if you plug in, uh, like how long does it take to fully charge? A fully charge is going to take a couple of hours okay. uh, for a fully charged car on uh, the 240 outlet. Uh -huh. Okay. So the charger comes with the car, right? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so here we are. I'm driving the uh, McLaren Arturo. Let's see how this car behaves. This uh, car released. Uh, first model year is 23. 23. Yeah. Because I haven't seen too many so far. We've only delivered uh, about four of them. Oh, that's so it. Far. Yeah, I see. It. That's fine. Yep, they're starting to uh, trickle in.
to for the launch control? Do you just do, uh, press the, uh, the brakes? Yeah. 
go over there. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Tokyo Cyan. The color is really nice. Kind of looks like a Miami blue on a Porsche. Because I'm looking at it, and the the real color and then the color that I see from the camera is actually different. From the camera, it looks like um, uh, more bluish. But then if I if you see in person, it looks more like a greenish. Has more green in it. So it's kind of weird. You know, the cameras cannot detect uh, some certain colors. So um, you gotta I mean. You gotta see in person. Very nice color. 